One of the last shots in a battle that's raged for decades, Ford's Falcon XR8 is as Australian as Ugg boots and mullet haircuts. Just over $50,000, it's also a performance car bargain. If you don't mind a rear end, it has a tendency to go sideways at the slightest provocation. The star of the show is the supercharged V8 engine nestled under the long, bulging bonnet. Loud and proud, the 5-litre mill delivers a maximum of 335 kilowatts and 550 newton metres of torque with all the subtlety of a midnight oil concert. On the road, the XR8's performance is infectious. A scintillating rush in a straight line and decent manners in the corners, considering its bulk. Although a lack of grip can have it wheel spinning furiously before the traction control chimes in. This loss of grip hampered it on Hobart's Baskerville Raceway, where the Blue Oval Blaster recorded one of the slowest lap times of the 15 Australia's best driver's cars contenders. That's not to say it wasn't fun. Betraying its family car origins, our reviewers found the high seating position a disappointment in a car that shouts sporty in so many other ways. Ride comfort and body control were also marginal on some of Tasmania's less than smooth roads. But it was hard to complain about the effectiveness of the powerful Brembo brakes with their flashy red calipers. Ultimately, the Falcon just couldn't keep on the pace with much of Australia's best driver's car lineup and frankly felt underdone in comparison to its nearest homegrown rival, the HSV. In the end, a mechanical failure put an end to any chance the Big Falcon had of scoring well in this year's comparison. Despite this and its shortcomings, it still left grins on the faces of all those who drove it.